today? Well, I'm a carrier of hemophilia and we, we really want a child and we were just wondering what are the chances of our child having developing the disease? Um, as you already know, haemophilia is a rare genetic disorder that prevents the blood from clotting properly. So a person who has it bleeds more than someone without haemophilia. Well, the chances are 50-50, um, but only, as you know, the boy can carry the disease, or have the disease, and the girl can carry it. In this diagram, we've got the mother's genes and the father's genes. The pink X is the affected chromosome, and as you can see, if you've got a pink X and a black X, that means that you've got an affected child, and same with the boy. What kind of symptoms will they experience? Signs and symptoms of haemophilia depend on the severity of the disorder and the location of bleeding. So, um, once a baby's born with haemophilia, before it begins crawling, it can have um, raised bruises on the stomach, chest, or back but the symptoms um, mostly appear under the skin where the blood is. So um, it can involve pain in the muscle and joints. So can my child be tested for the disease before birth? Yes, your child can. It, the most common test is called amniocentesis. Um, this is taken between the 14th and 18th week of pregnancy. Um, a thin needle is used to draw a small sample of the fluid that surrounds the baby to see if the child carries the gene haemophilia. Another way to test your child is through umbilical blood sampling where the doctor takes blood from the umbilical vein which runs through the baby to the placenta. The miscarriage is 2% so that you're going to have to, if you're going to do that test, you're going to have some sort of warning that there may be a chance of miscarriage. Any treatments for this disease? Yeah, the main treatment is replacement therapy and it affects the um, person who has a of relaxes into their blood by giving them um, needles. You put it in when you need when you need to stop the bleeding, so it's called a demand only treatment. Now you have um, the you put the needle in before the accident's gonna happen so then it won't bleed anymore. And uh, you get the decreased chance of osteoarthritis from the bleeding. Is the disease curable? <laughs> How is this likely to affect the child's life? Well, as expected, um, the life of a haemophiliac does have its limitations, um, so extra precautionary measures will have to be taken um, when the sufferer is involved in certain activities that involve high energy. A person with haemophilia does suffer from a shorter life expectancy um, from someone who doesn't suffer from the disease. Um, for example, someone who does receive the proper treatment um, usually falls, the life expectancy falls 10 years short of someone who doesn't suffer from the disease. So what support will my child have? At the Royal Children's Hospital, we provide specialist care for the boys with hemophilia and the children with other bleeding disorders. Well, managing hemophilia is in a very young child's stressful period of time for parents. A child um, might not participate in many sports so they need to have a healthy lifestyle but they can um, be a helper or a scorekeeper for the team they're playing. Or you can take the child to a summer camp to, uh, to meet someone who's got the same disease as you. Are all the questions you yeah, have yeah. Yeah. Okay, it was very lovely to meet you. Thank you.